Hello everybody, my name is Ankai and I just graduated from UC Riverside recently. Currently, I'm working two part-time jobs plus I'm freelance of my own. I've been working in videography slash photography about six years and I've been involved in numerous projects such as commercials, documentaries, short films, um, product video shoots, and real estate, stuff like that. And today, I'm just gonna share with you some of the tips and, and mindsets that I found useful for breaking into the industry and you know, really how to survive in this very competitive industry. So first off, if you are still in film school, I will encourage you to get familiar with your professors because they've been working in the industry for a while now and it's very useful for you to start building your connections and you know, go to their office hours, asking them if they need any assistance for their projects. And yeah, it's a very good way to start building your connections. And you can also learn some practical um, experience from it. The second I would say is to get familiar with your classmates because the connection that you build will not only last in college but also uh, in your future career as well. Many pro filmmakers, um, they start building their connections in film school and that connection lasts uh, their way, way ahead of them. So yeah, find people that matches the same goal, same ambition, that have the same um, idea for you and work with them, help them out. And yeah, one day they will help you out as well. Third, I would recommend for you to go to the nearest camera stores and play around with those different cameras and lenses. You never know what's going to happen in the future and you might be using one of them on set one day. And it's very important for you to know the bottom layouts, the shortcuts, and get familiar with the things that are attached to the camera as well, such as the time code, the monitor, the transmitter, etc., etc. Is and please don't be intimidated by the size of it. Just like my professor William Wallop said in college, uh, don't view it as a, a huge thing. Just view it as a big box with a hole in it. And all cinema cameras are designed to do one thing, which is to get beautiful pictures. So. Uh, don't be intimidated by it, and they're very simple and very easy to use. Uh, if you have the chance, go to the camera stores, ask the employees nicely uh, to check out those cameras. And yeah, I'll, uh, I will ensure you that you will learn a lot from it. Just to clarify, I am only talking from a cinematographer perspective. If you are a director or screenwriter, that might be a different path, but now I'm just gonna share with you some of the things I found useful from a cinematography perspective. Talking about cameras, I would recommend for you to go invest in some equipment by yourself as well. Cameras, lenses, and lighting as well. If you don't have the budget, be creative and use your phone. There's a lot of things you can do. The most important things is to start today and don't be like, I don't have the budget or the money to buy a good camera so I cannot do anything. It's better to have something than nothing. And yeah, talking about the work, let's talk about the most important aspect of the preparing stage, which is to build your reel. A reel is a highlight of your work that can be from one minute to three minutes. Building your reel is definitely one of the hardest process for this. Uh, personally, for me, it takes me about three years to build my reel. And yeah, so it's better to start as early as possible. And don't worry about if your stuff is not good enough. Gradually accumulate your footage and update those shots. Once you have the reel, you have something to show to your clients. If they like your reel, they would hire you. Yeah. Now let's, let's talk about the mindset you will need for this job. Having a positive mindset is very important uh, in this industry. People are more likely to work with a person that are nice, but doesn't have that much talent than a person that's very talented, but a pain in the ass to deal with. So. Be nice and also be humble, right? There are always people that are better than you and you can always learn something from them. Even they might not be as good as you in a specific field, but 
they might be very very good in some other fields so yeah try to learn as much as possible and give back to the others as much as possible most importantly i think is to be consistent and keep going you know starting up you might not get the job as you wanted you might be a pa or you might be a camera intern and sometimes it's very harsh and people might not respect you but be consistent and keep doing what you love to do and keep up the good work of yourself and gradually you will move your way up and become a pro then you will be more and more professional and yeah that's pretty much it some of the tips that i found useful and the mindset so yeah good luck and i hope to see you guys on set one day peace out